at this time, would you please rise and would gentlemen remove their caps for the playing of our national anthem. Good evening, and welcome to the class of 2017's graduation ceremony. Whether it be academics, sports, or the arts, our class has always set the bar high. As we move into the next chapter of our lives, I am positive we will take our heart, dedication, and pocket constitutions with us. We have dreams of becoming doctors, engineers, and police officers. We have plans to serve our country and travel the world. All of us want to be successful, but who is this success for? Our parents, our friends, or maybe even our teachers. What we choose to do with our lives should satisfy our inner aspirations and not be hindered by those around us. Of course, failure might walk through the door every now and again, but welcome him with arms wide open. Allow yourself to learn from failure. Do not hold yourself back because you are simply afraid of being wrong. As Ralph Nader once said, your best teacher is your last mistake. We all have made mistakes and we will continue to make endless ones. What's important is how we change our lives after we make those mistakes that truly defines us. The people in this room tonight have already taught us some of the hardest lessons in life, and we still have a ton more to learn on our own. Although looking to the past is often frowned upon, I encourage you to remember your time here at BHS while you embark on your new adventure. As much as we wanted out of here, we also made countless memories that will last a lifetime. Whether it was during our many trips to the Pittsburgh Zoo, Narnia Day, the Greek Olympics, the immigration simulation, skirmish tournaments, pep rallies, or just simply laughing with our best friends in the hallway, the memories we made here are truly priceless. Although it feels like we are closing the door, we will always be connected through the traditions we made here at BHS. Instead of looking forward to Spirit Week, we can now look forward to class reunions. Whether high school went fast or dragged on for you, we all have molded into diverse, talented individuals. It's hard to fathom a time when we will all be on our own, helping our own children through the journey of life. But I'm sure it'll happen in a blink of an eye. I encourage us all to slow down and not rush or wish our lives away and to enjoy all of life's little treasures. I wish the class of 2017 nothing but prosperity and happiness. Thank you parents, teachers, staff, friends and family for coming to watch our ending but also our new beginning. The salutatorian of the graduating class of 2017 is Levi Roseman. Levi has chosen to attend Dartmouth University in the fall. I want to apologize uh, before I begin. At some point in the speech, I may start talking very rapidly. The administration told me that I had to keep this under 45 minutes, and I just want to make sure I don't go over. Also, also, before I begin, I see there are a number of undergraduates uh, in the audience tonight. And I, if I could just offer you a word of advice, because you're going to be sitting on this stage before you know it. You hear it very often said, don't blink, because it all happens so fast. And tonight, I just wanted to tell you, for the sake of your health, between now and your graduation, you should definitely blink, 
okay? All right, enough of that. I do suppose that at this time, I'm supposed to turn around and face the class and say, well, we did it. And then if I follow true graduation speech form, I'll give you some cliche filled advice, tell some corny jokes as I'm prone to do, and then we'll all jump joyously and skip back down those aisles into what we call the real world. What do you say? But before we ride off into the sunset, we come here tonight to remember together. We come to see each other's faces together for one last time. And then, together, we will celebrate. And some people will in fact celebrate because they know it's the last time they'll see my face. And yeah, after making it this far, we do have reason to remember our time here fondly. We have reason to celebrate like no other time we've celebrated before. I believe that the joyous scene that's about to ensue on this stage can best be described by quoting one of the greatest vignettes in the history of American literature. The thin white webbing cradled its catch for a breathless moment before the prize slipped through and the jubilant throng exploded. If you weren't on the inside of that joke, you can count your blessings. <laughs> we can agree, anyway, that this is a time of great transition. We celebrate tonight the incredible individuality of every single one of the members of the class of 2017. The athletes, the artists, the scholars, and the kind souls. However, before long, the spring in our step will become significantly less springy our luscious locks will become laced with gray, and we'll trade in our running spikes for some Dr. Scholl's custom fit orthotic gel footwear. And probably our knees will start creaking so badly we'll want to inject them with WD-40. <laughs> like it or not, our days are numbered, and we are, in fact, dying. Some of us believe that this life is it. At the end, we rest in peace. And others believe that at the end of this life, there's a jumping off point to a far brighter and far greater chapter of our eternal existence. But no matter how we look at it, we've only got one shot at this light. Now I'm not telling you this to rain on our parade, I'm not telling you this to hold back our jubilant throng, okay? I'm telling you this so that we can have an even bigger parade and an even more jubilant throng. I'm telling you that we're dying because I want us to start living. Even as we honor and remember our beloved Sydney tonight, we are reminded just how precious life really is. And we are reminded of how to live life to its fullest. We can go on dying, letting the world pass us by as we slowly decay, or we can choose to live and take advantage of every opportunity, smile at everybody we see, enjoy even the hardships, and laugh at jokes that aren't even funny. I think too often people let their senioritis turn into a chronic illness. They let the sun come up and go down without making any kind of a difference, without enjoying the journey. These people exist, but by no means do they live. It's too easy to lay around as life leaves us in the dust. And as actor Will Roger reminds us, even if you are on the right track, you'll get run over if you just sit there. And we can determine right now, on this stage tonight, we can determine to live. If we just sit here waiting for it all to be over, waiting for old Levi to stop flapping his gums, then we're dying. But if we are present, if we enjoy these last moments together, remember fondly everything we've done together, and anticipate what our unknown future holds, then we are living. In the movie The Shawshank Redemption, Andy Dufresne says to Morgan, or Morgan Freeman's character, get busy living or get busy dying. And now we have to decide which of those will be our mantras. Please don't push off living as something to do later. Don't allow yourself one more senioritis indulgence because the world will keep on turning and pretty soon it's going to be our 20th reunion and we'll have occasion to wonder, have I accomplished anything in two decades? Have I loved those around me and enjoyed the love of those around me? Have I enjoyed the, li the little things, the big things? Have I lived? 
If we don't decide tonight to start living, when are we going to do it? Tomorrow? No, because tomorrow's going to come and go, and then all of the other tomorrows, they're going to come and go too. And it will happen more quickly as time goes on. As the Western Pennsylvania proverb goes, life is like a roll of toilet paper. The closer you get to the end, the faster it goes. And if we don't start living now, then before long, we're not going to be at our 20 year reunion. We're going to be hitting the little cardboard tube at the center of the roll, and it'll be too late to change anything. And friends, the deathbed is no place for regrets. That's the place to say, sure, I've been dying all of these years, and now it's finally caught up to me. But it can never take away my choice to live. It can never take away the memories I've already made, the chances I've already taken, the people that I have loved or the people that have loved me. Nothing can take that away. Because for my entire life, I haven't cared much about dying because I have chosen to live. Friends, we can all be counted among the dying. There is nothing special about that. But now it's up to every member of the class of 2017 to decide which of us may be counted among the living. And I understand that this is a very emotional night. There's a lot of happiness, celebration, a lot of smiles. There's also a lot of sadness and some tears because we aren't quite ready for goodbye. And I know some people are crying because I'm still talking. But I am comforted by the words of Dr. Seuss who once said, don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. I love every single one of you class of 2017. Thank you for everything and may God bless us in everything. At this time, the Brookville Area High School Concert Choir will perform Bridge Over Troubled Water.
valedictorian for the class of 2017 is Ryan Brush. Ryan will attend Harvard University in the fall. I'm glad I wrote it for you. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, man. Okay, sorry. Alright. But no, really, that was that was great. You set the bar high. Olivia, you too. And Natalie and Sean, don't worry. I can assure you I won't raise it. <laughs> Alright, see where we are here. Anyway, I'd like to introduce my speech with a short quote from Seth Ray. It goes a little something like, Good morning. Uh, the reason I say this is because I was told I would be given $15 if I said it in my graduation speech. So my mom is probably already mortified that I said that, but don't worry, Mom. When I get my $15, we'll be rich. Anyway, speaking of my mother, she's been telling me for weeks to write my graduation speech. So naturally, I waited until yesterday to write it. Actually, I wrote the majority of it this morning during graduation practice. Anyway, but again, don't worry, Mom. I spent a really long time, probably about 10 minutes, trying to figure out how I could make my speech the perfect combination of insightful and funny, and then I realized I'm neither insightful nor funny. All right. Well. So, I decided to make a compromise about the nature of my speech. It's going to be short. Because I know it's in everybody's best interest that we get out of here as soon as possible. Uh, here it is, it's only about 300 pages. I think I can get through it in under two hours. Let's go, all right. Alright, so, with that being said, I'll give you the only piece of advice I can giving my given my present circumstances. Don't go into a career in public speaking. Just kidding. My actual advice would be, always listen to your mother. Because if I had, you wouldn't be sitting there listening to me ramble aimlessly wondering, how the heck is this kid valedictorian? Honestly, I wonder the same thing. But, in all seriousness, congratulations to the class of 2017 on all your hard work and your persistence in the pursuit of a high school diploma. It may not feel like it, but this is an incredible accomplishment and you should be very proud of yourselves for making it this far. And also grateful to have had the opportunity to, because as we learn from our friend Sydney Hopper, every year, every semester, every week, every day, every breath is a gift, and there's no time to waste it, because you never know how much more you'll have. Um, there's absolutely no time to waste holding on to negative emotions like anger, or jealousy, or feeling sorry for ourselves, or letting our minds be weighed down by stress, or being anything but happy. Uh, so I encourage you, to take every single opportunity that you have to smile and to make somebody else smile because, I mean, even if it's just a simple, stupid, you know, frivolous, nonsensical joke like, good morning, you know, because something like that, you know, every time I've said that this year, I've, I've smiled, it's put a big smile on my face, and some days I really needed that. As stupid as it is, you know, to smile at everything you can. Um, I lost my place, so let me find it. Give me two seconds. Three, four, maybe. All right, it's important to enjoy all the little things in the pursuit of the bigger things that make you happy. Um, please, please, please don't you know, let yourself be unhappy until you reach your goals, because if you do that, you might spend your whole life being unhappy. You, know, you need to learn to enjoy the struggle to achieve them, you know, and it's absolutely 100% possible to do that, I promise you. Um, you know, I really encourage you to approach every situation with a positive attitude, you know, look for the bright side in everything, make the, most, make, excuse me, make the most of the challenges that you face, and no matter how busy you get with work or school or running a household, make time to spend with the people that make you happy, doing the things that make you happy. Um, because whether you have 80 days or 80 years left to live, life is just simply too short to let it go by without doing the things that you love with the people that you love. That's why I spend all my time with my girlfriend. So, <laughs> if you take away anything from my speech, Please just remember to smile and enjoy the ride, no matter how rough it gets. And if nothing else, I hope you can at least laugh at how bad it was. Uh, and remember, as Levi Rosen once said, that Dr. Seuss once said, don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened. Thank you. This year, the graduating class has decided to have one student offer a tribute to the many role models in their life. And after a rigorous selection process, Natalie Brush has been selected to offer that tribute.
Webster's Dictionary defines a role model as a person whose behavior, example, or success is or can be emulated by others, especially by younger people. At some point in our lives, we have had someone to look up to, and I am sure many of us, when we were younger, possibly looked up to a movie star or a princess or a superhero's courage. But being so little, we failed to acknowledge that the real superheroes were right in front of us. As we have grown, we were able to see these superheroes caring, sacrificing, and being there for us at any given moment. Our role models and mentors never signed up for this position in our lives. They earned a place in our hearts by being genuinely great people. As young adults sitting on this stage, we would like to recognize our parents, family members, teachers, and coaches for their selfless actions as they have shaped us into the people we are today. For the parents, family members, and loved ones who are no longer with us, the direction in our lives that you have pointed us is that of devotion, perseverance, and integrity. These virtues will forever guide us in the coming chapters of our lives. As for teachers and coaches who have been more than an academic leader, your passion for knowledge in your field of study will not be forgotten as we try to find ours. Each and every one of you have made your mark in our lives, and for this we are forever grateful. And just in case we don't express this enough, this is the class of 2017's way of saying thank you for everything. It means so much. And the final speech by a member of the class of 2017 will be a tribute to their classmates delivered by Sean Keyes. Good evening, friends, family, faculty, and my academic adjudicators. Let's think back. All the way back to September 7, 2004, the first day of the 13, and, the 13 level endeavor we refer to simply as school. The 2,340 school days that have elapsed since then have been filled with memorable moments. We have come a long way from learning the alphabet in kindergarten. Well, at least most, most of us have. <clears throat> no Riker. <clears throat> Ooh. Ah. We also aren't four or five years old anymore, even though some of us still act like it, myself included. Oh. Now that was some good for me. Well, class, it uh, looks like we did it. And I know you didn't see that line coming. So a street poet and philosopher Drake once said, we started from the bottom and now the whole team's here. <laughs> With the exception of one important class member, Sydney Hopper. She liked us all throughout her time with us. Fifth and sixth grade are certainly years I will never forget. She was such a positive person and always telling a joke or laughing at one. No matter what, I'm sure none of us could ever forget a person as great as Sydney, and I'm sure that we can all agree that she is with us here, spiritually and in our hearts this evening. Here we are, gathered at our high school graduation. And uh, yes, I am graduating. I'm sorry if you lost that bet. Six years ago, we passed through the threshold and walked into this school to start our high school adventure. We meandered the labyrinth of hallways, not, shoring, not sure where we were going or what we would find when we get there. But we figured out where we're going and we did get there. And today we meandered down these aisles and wound up on stage here at our high school graduation. And as we leave this stage today, some of us still don't know where we're going. While most of us have a plan <clears throat> for, while most of us have a plan for the future, there is no telling what may happen, and I encourage all of you to roll with the punches and make the best of everything that comes your way, because opportunities you have before you, the opportunities that you have before you may not last forever. People often refer to these high school years as the best years of your life, but I assure you that if PSSA tests, grade tests, and keystone testings are the best years of your life, you have done something terribly wrong. Before us lies our futures, and standing in the way is me giving this speech. But soon we will be moving these, 
funny looking cat toys on top of our geometrically shaped hats to the other side. And as we descend these perilous, perilous stairs into the depths of society known to us ominously and mystically as the real world, we will close one of the biggest chapters of our lives. But remember, as with most any book, there is more than one chapter, and the only limit to the number of chapters is your willpower and determination. And always, always remember that you are the only author of your book. This book that symbolizes your life is yours and yours only. There is no need for your story to be the same as everyone else's. While there may be some reassurance and comfort in following the crowd, sometimes it is better to head out on your own and create your own destiny. Any path that you choose to find yourself on life is honorable, and no matter what path you choose, it will lead you towards success. As Muhammad Ali once said, you're not going to enjoy every minute of the journey, but the success you'll find at the end of it will make it all worth it. Well, it's been an honor uh, for you to listen to this speech, and for me to be able to stand before my classmates and the people that brought us to this ultimate high school success. It's been a long journey, and longer are yet to come. Over the last 13 years, we have watched each other transform from little kids into bigger kids and a few adults. As we reflect back on our journey through education, I hope we have no regrets, not even a single letter. But if you do, just remember, hindsight is 2020 or 2015 or even 2010. My point is that we must look back on our mistakes, acknowledge them, and fix them. Otherwise, history will repeat itself. Some people will argue that the stuff we learned here, we will never use. But I assure you that the stepping stones that have been laid for us here is a strong foundation for the road to success that we will build throughout our careers. As I look around this room and I see many of you shedding a tear on this emotionally charged evening, I will leave you with this quote that I once heard Ryan Thrush say that Levi Roseman said that Dr. Seuss once said, don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened. Good luck to all of you, not that any one of you should need it. And now the seniors of the class of 2017 in concert choir will perform See You Again.
Dr. Robin Philman is the superintendent of schools of the Brookville Area School District, and she will now offer some keynote remarks. I'm honored to be here with you and have this opportunity to speak to the graduating class, so please excuse my back. Um, if I could speak to the class tonight, the community comes together to celebrate your accomplishments, and there are so many. We will begin by recognizing your academic achievements. This year's graduates will attend prestigious colleges and universities, including Chatham, Clarion, Colgate, Dartmouth, Elizabethtown, Gardner-Webb, Grove City, Harvard, IUP, LeCom, Mercyhurst, Pennsylvania College of Art and Design, Penn State, Slippery Rock, and South Carolina. One member of this year's class will be serving our country in the Air Force. Others will be entering the workforce and even starting their own businesses. We would also like to celebrate your athletic and musical accomplishments. Girls and boys track, baseball and wrestling won district champions. Eight members of the graduating class won individual district champions. Two members of this graduating class even earned the title of state champion. Several of our other graduates earned regional and district band and choir, as well as district jazz band titles. Some graduates earned national school recognition in choir, orchestra, and choir, choral director. Cub honor band status was awarded to many. One member of this class earned all state band. Wow. As a result of your hard work, this year's graduating class has collectively been awarded over $1.4 million in various scholarships, grants, and awards. Quite impressive. But class of 2017, as great as these accomplishments are, what I have been most impressed with is your personal commitment and perseverance. Whether you were studying for a test, mastering a skill, or attaining your personal best, you have stayed true to yourself and you have not given up, even if you were faced with disappointment or failure. The ability to persevere will serve you well in life as it does more than help you master a skill or attain a goal. It makes you trustworthy in people's eyes. They know you won't quit when a problem comes along. It increases your sense of self-worth. To take ownership of a goal you set out to achieve, to accept that your destiny is in your own hands. It leads you to unexpected discoveries and expands your knowledge it enables you to turn dreams into reality. Your diploma tonight symbolizes your ability to persevere through tough times, overcome obstacles, and reach high academic standards. On behalf of the distinguished faculty, staff, and administration at Brookville High School, I extend my most sincere congratulations to all of our graduates and their families. I wish each and every one of you the best in your endeavors, no matter where life's journey takes you. Remember, Brookville will always be your home and continue to be Raider proud. Congratulations to all of you.
At this time, it is my privilege to present to you the graduating class of 2017. Class President Olivia Jordan Witheray. <laughs> Salutatorian Levi Zachary Roseman. Valedictorian, Ryan Joseph Rush. <laughs> Natalie Michelle Rush. <laughs> Sean Michael Keyes. Trey Claire Campagna. Eden Louise Craig. Rachel Elizabeth Gardner. Braden Lucille Geist. Shania Dawn Hale. April Nicole Hetrick. Brooke Ashley Johnson. <laughs> Renee Marie Nedza. Julia Melanie Aaron. Tanner Joseph Blair. Logan Nicole Bowser. Caitlin Nora Bremer. Cassandra Joanne Brown. Ezekiel Marmaranu Bougay. Gregory Paul Burkett. <laughs> Philip David Byerly.
Zoe Ray Cable. Benjamin Anthony Kahn. Noah Matthew Seleski. Janae Elaine Dawson. Sarah Elizabeth Dempsey. Zachary James Dinger. Alyssa Paige Drake. Jared Paul Fawcett. Austin Michael Fields. Kristen Marie Fiscus. Michael Anthony Fricola. <laughs> Kennedy Ray Gilbert. <laughs> Madison Ray Gilbert. Zachary Ray Gilbert. <laughs> Megan Elizabeth Grant. Sean Russell. Heckman. Lakin Claire Herger. Rebecca Danielle Hetrick. Remington Paul Himes. Brooke Elizabeth Hummel. Isaiah Zachary Isaac. Tyler Michael Joyner. Curtis Lee Joyner the third.
Joshua Lee Kiesecker. Sydney Dawn Hopper. Hope Elizabeth Kiesling. <laughs> Hannah Marie Kirkwood. <laughs> Alyssa Marie Knapp. Keelan Allen Kunzelman. John Curtis Lellis. Bailey James Lindermuth. Timothy James Little. <laughs> Megan Kaylee Lobestall. <laughs> Spencer Jude Long. Jordan Marie McWilliams. <laughs> Kira Lee Maines. Austin Reeves McCleary. Alyssa Nicole McGranner. <laughs> Logan Alexander Mahalix. <laughs> George Jeffrey Miller Jr. Maggie Ann Miller. <laughs> Megan May Miller. <laughs> James Michael Moore.
Brianna Nicole Nelson. Abby Joe Northy. Lindsay Elaine Oaks. Jada Noel Palmer. Taylor Ann Papavis. Caitlin Amanda Park. Elliot Elizabeth Park. Gavin Todd Park. Layton Glenn Peace. Joseph Augustus Polito. Seth David Ray. Caitlin Nicole Redinger. <laughs> Noah James Reichard. <laughs> Emily Renee Reinard. Benjamin Douglas Wright. Ty Hunter G. Rowe. Heather Rose Seacrest. Tyler Bradley Shannon. <laughs> Elliot James Sharp. <laughs> Brooke Lee Shattenberg. Jordan Lee Silvis. Colton Carl Singleton.
Katie Lorraine Smith. Whitney Bloom Smith. Seth Edward Snyder. Ashley Lynn Sparks. Shane Austin St. Laurent. Logan Richard Steele. Katie Jo Stormer. Kristen Rose Teeter. Austin Todd Thompson. Morgan Claire Thrush. Riley Michael Vineski. Melissa Marie Visake. Asia Rose Marie Walter. Brent Michael Whiteman. Zachary Michael Wildeson. Abigail Rose Wilson. Cassandra Nicole Wonderling. Morgan Rose Winecoop. Brendan James Yard. and Mally Lynn Zentz. It is my great honor to present to you the graduates of the class of 2017.
Would you please rise for the alma mater? I would like to thank everyone for joining us this evening. We're so proud of this graduating class. They've done incredible things. We're happy that they are going to be part of our legacy. Once again, congratulations to the class of 2017. Give them a round of applause. Thank you.